Well, if we do it, we're going to do it different, right? That kind, of, that kind of always is the case, right? So propeller head will take a function or a feature that people are asking for and one that we see other companies have done and will, of course, give you the ability to get to that place that you want to get to. So, you know, auto-tune, you want to get to that T-Pain, I'm, I'm in a boat sort of like very overly used hip-hop type sound, you can get there very easily. You want to get to more of a smooth type of a sound, well, that's all done with this correction speed knob. So the faster the speed, the more T-Pain-ish it is. The slower the speed, the more natural it is. What's different about us is that's actually automatable. Right. So for most people, it's one or the other. For us, you can do this two of the same things within the same song and flip back and forth in real time. Right. So I can just for one you know, split second of a time have them do that little robotic thing and then back to natural right. by just twisting or recording automation on that knob. Yeah. You also have the voice synth, which is going to add harmony. So as you play keys on a MIDI keyboard, it will give you those keys as harmonies off of the original note. Now, the, what's unique about ours is a few things. Um, number one, it's all live. There's no latency. You can put it in a live mode, so there's absolutely no latency at all. So you can really hear what's happening and tweak it. The other thing is, with the low frequency mode, you can then plug in something like a bass guitar, like a fretless, where you know, my chops are OK. But maybe I'm a slight bit off the note. Well, I can use Neptune, and then I'm going to sound like I really know how to play the bass better than I do. Um, and also, we have this uh, the formant feature, which allows you to preserve the formant. So let's say you recorded a song, and it was in the key of C. And then you come back, and you say, you know, we want to drop it down a few semitones. But the vocal was great. We don't want to, we don't want to touch that. We want to just drop that down as well. But when you drop it down, you're pitching something down. So you're starting to change, alter how it sounds. By just clicking on the format button, it will preserve the original formats, even though you've shifted keys. So you will not lose the texture or the tonality of that person's voice. Or if you want to, you can make them sort of sound more male or more female. Yeah. So that's a fun thing to do. The other thing is, when you look at the back panel of, of uh, Neptune, of course, being propeller heads, we can't just do that. We've got to go one step further. And we have the CD out. And what that does is, when Neptune detects a pitch, it actually takes that pitch and sends it out of the CD output. So what that means is I could, in theory, use my voice to play a Thor sound, or use a bass guitar to trigger a subtractor and play the notes. Now, of course, it's got to be monophonic. Polyphonic stuff gets weird, but, but it's another feature, something else that you can do, right? We always give you that one more thing kind of that it's, it's in a, in, on top of the basic functionality. And lastly, since it's an effects processor, you're going to see that in the factory sound bank, there's new effects that use Neptune to do pitched things. So maybe pitch delays, where delays are ascending or descending each time the delay regenerates. Yeah. Neptune allows us to do some really unique stuff with that. Sure, I mean, you know, we've all heard what pitch correction can do when people misuse it, right? We, we know what, what it does with the, with the T-Pain and the share thing. Um, well, now we've given you something else, a new way to misuse pitch correction, and that is since it does accept sequencer control input for note and gate, I can use something like an arpeggiator or a matrix strapped into it to actually play the notes for me. So when I sing a note, I can hold a note out and have it arpeggiated instead of me, holding, me actually singing those notes. So you can get some really interesting and different types of sounds and effects there. So, you know, something that you're going to hear on vocals is, is humanly impossible, I guess. You know, maybe it's possible, but not yet. All right, so. Yeah. With Neptune, of course, you have you your pitch correction. And the way it works is it takes the audio that's coming in analyzes it, and this is all in real time, and it will tell you what note you're hitting, and you can decide whether you want it to be fully chromatic, or you just want it to specify specifics. Now listen to this game. Oh, in my hair. Oh, if we want it to be T 
TP, we turn this pressure correction speed up. Oh, 